It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and to the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. I would particularly like to welcome the family and friends of our graduates, many of whom have traveled long distances to be here with us today. We welcome you to the university and thank you for the help, support, and encouragement that you have given our graduands during their studies. But most of all, I'd like to welcome our graduands, whose magnificent achievement and hard work we are here to celebrate today. Graduands can be justifiably proud of their own personal achievement. Those of you who are graduating today have given yourselves a real competitive advantage by completing your degree here in Manchester. You chose to make an investment in your future when you decided some time ago to come to Manchester to follow your degree course. Today, that investment is realized. And your achievement in completing your degree cannot be underestimated. And you and your families and friends should feel justly proud of your achievements. There is also much for the university to be proud of this academic year. The University of Manchester was named Sunday Times University of the Year and has ret retained its position as the UK's most popular university. We received some 62,657 applications to our undergraduate courses for entry in 2006, the most of any UK university, confirming Manchester as the UK's premier destination for would-be students. Another plus for Manchester is that this university retains its place as the most targeted university by the UK's top 100 graduate recruiters, both in the private and the public sector. Since you joined the University of Manchester, you will have noticed that the campus estate, particularly within the area bounded by Oxford Road, Grafton Street, and Upper Brook Street, has changed quite dramatically. The university continues with its plan to invest some £620 million in a building programme to provide new high-quality facilities for our staff and students. This is by some margin the biggest capital program ever seen in higher education in the United Kingdom. One of the visible symbols of this program is the, the 650 million pound flagship building uh, going up on Oxford Road. This building will be known as University Place and it has a distinctive rotunda which many of you may have noticed coming in. This building will be open for business in February of 2008. As a graduate of the University of Manchester, you'll be joining a very distinguished Hall of Fame. No fewer than 22 of our former staff and students have gone on to become Nobel Prize winners. And very many of our graduates can be found in top positions in academe, in business, in politics, in sport, and in the arts. Your prospects will be second to none because the value of the degree you will be holding in your hand is recognized all around the world. Universities are all about people, and it is the staff and students of the university who make our successes possible. Today, we honor the contribution of our graduates of 2007. In your own way, each and every one of you has enriched the life of this university. Your degree is a hugely important milestone, and you should certainly celebrate your success with gusto. But this is the beginning of a journey, not the end. We are delighted to welcome you to a network of over 200,000 alumni, which forms the core of the university's global community. This network allows you to continue your relationship with the university and current friends as well as to interact with many other alumni connected with the university at a personal and professional level. 
So please do take advantage of this network by leaving your contact details on the postcard you have received about our new interactive alumni community network called Your Manchester Online. As a member of our alumni community, you will also receive our alumni magazine and be invited to social nights, reunions, and business networking events. The Alumni Association is also active overseas with branches in many countries. So please don't make this today your last contact with the university. Keep our alumni office regularly updated with your news and particularly with changes of address. And please remember that our doors will always be open to you, always. So on behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievements. And I wish you every success in your future careers. Thank you. The uh, first thing is I have to issue an apology uh, on behalf of the university in that the uh, listings in the program in terms of students who have been awarded honours at their degree is incorrect. Uh, so what I'm proposing to do is that I will read the names and those students with honours, I will acknowledge that as their name is called. I'm also told that the certificates that the students receive or the graduates will receive uh, are correct and that a correct program will be sent automatically to, uh, to people in the next few weeks. So I, again, I apologize. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degrees of Masters in Population Health Evidence and Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Adele Victoria Warrillow. and for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, Darwood Ijaz Anwar. Congratulations. Craig Branwood. Sinead Eleanor Campbell. Congratulations. Arthur Keyes Dalton. Well done. Rachel Elizabeth Daly. Ashneel Darmalingam. Well done. And with honours, Victoria Helen Eaton. Dewey Thomas Eden. Well Kate Victoria Fraser. Well and with honours, Rachel Louise Goldsping. Well Rosemary Gratton. Lisa Gruska. Well done. Philip Samuel Hogg. Well done. And with honours, Dawn Victoria Jackson. Well done. Morteza Jalali. Mirza Rakib Baig. Well 
Danny Bard. Alexandra Louise Ball. And with honours, Jessica Ruth Ball. Liam Matthew Barker. Victoria Ann Baylis. And with honours, Christine Jane Beeston. Hold on. Bavini Billimoria. Hold on. Claire Bonchek. Kieran Mark Bowdron. Laura Jane Bauer. Hold on. Matthew James Bowker. Hold on. Sarah Emily Boys. Hold on. Nathaniel James Bradbrook. Tara Breslin. And with honours, Mega Bridgman. Victoria Hannah Brindle. John Alexander James Broomfield. Benjamin Charles Brown. Congratulations. Charlotte Emma Brown. Well Matthew Charles Brown. Thomas William Buckman. Well done. Luke John Bunting. Okay. Nadia Burgess. Robert Paul Burgess. Well done. And with honours, Janet Mary Elizabeth Burton. <laughs> Hilary Ruth Buttle. <laughs> and with honours, Elizabeth Byrne. Well done. Laura Carberry. Well done. Margaret Elaine Caulfield. Well Gurjit Singh Chokar. Sadia Nazreen Chowdhury. Shamik Hasuk Chudasama. <laughs> Quincy Izuchukwu Chuka. Well Warren Elizabeth Clark. Well 
Hannah Coles. And with honours, Alan Mark Conway. Well done. Alexandra Violet Cox. Claire Coyle. Patricia Cunningham. Nicholas William Davies. Charlotte Bethan Dean. Tarmina Taj Dean. Samantha Louise Deveni. Well Anna Judith Dickens. Kevin Gerald Draper. Well done. And with honours, Michael Stewart Edwards. Well done. Michael James Evans. Atik Farouk. Well done. Rosie Fazakali. <laughs> Warren Ann Fisk. Well Naomi Forsyth. Well Natalie Zara Francis. Mary Gallagher. Alexander Garvey. Ryan Itty George. Michael Gibbons. Michael Richard Gilbert. Edward Peter Joseph Gluley. Rachel Louise Goodman. Sarah Gradwell. And with honours, Stuart William Grant. Matthew John Green. Samantha Green. Alka Gupta. Well done. And with honours, Beverly Clare Hall. Simon Daniel Hamilton. David Thomas Hankin. 
Laura Hunter Henderson. Well done. <laughs> Sonia Hearmath. <laughs> Timothy Stephen Holland. Well done. Luke Holmes. <laughs> Gareth Edward Hughes. Well Thomas Graham John Hunsley. James William Lewis Hunter. <laughs> Thomas John Attil Hunter. <laughs> and with honours, Jamila Akhtar Hussain. Mohammed Kazim Isan. <laughs> Anthony Lawrence Isaacs. Claire Louise Ives. Sandra Ives. <laughs> Hassan Darwood Jafar. Well and with honours, Saeed Ibrahim Jamalail. Akil Ahmed Jamil. <laughs> Amar Javed. <laughs> Miran Javid. <laughs> Jacqueline Jones. And with honours, David Robert Talon Jones. Well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery at Kiel, Obeid Ali Al Sawedi. Jill Cheryl Campbell. Sarah Elizabeth Davidson. Well done. Andrew Davy. Well and with honours, Susan Jane MacArthur. And with honours, Suzanne Helen Mary Stokes. <laughs> Usman Ahmed. Well done. Laura Susan Elizabeth Barraclough. Well 
Imtiaz Begum. John Hamilton Bruce. Warner Elizabeth Clark. Gregory Edward Cooper. Elizabeth Ann Doyle. Matthew David G. Catriona Jane Kennedy. Hamish Alistair Kinnan. George Charles Kirby. And with honours, James Lillica. Alan James McNeil. Nekma Mia. Claire Jane Melville. Well done. And with honours, Alistair David Moffat. Melinda Kathleen Morell. Congratulations. And with honours, Nadezda Alexandrovna Movchan. Anne Marie Mullin. And with honours, Timothy George Palmer. Simran Kaur Rakra. Matthew Graham Simpson. And with honours, Carla Thomas. Colette Hannah Thompson. Ganga Verma. James William Wainwright. Andrew Patterson Williams. And for the degree of Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, European Option, Kola Ashesha Shi. Rosa Adam. Annalise Elizabeth Brown. Maria Elpida Fitidis. Emily Jane Ackham. Dimitra Christodoulou. (laughs) 
Linda Jabella. And with honours, Marie Claire Haddock. Hold on. Samuel Henry Howard. Hold on. Zoe Ann Hudson. Rebecca Jane Lee. Claudia Adriana Popescu. Nicholas Allen Rhodes. Bethany Cade Smith. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours in Pathology, Pfizer Khalid. And for the degree of Bachelor of Nursing in Nursing Practice with Honours, Richard John Catlin. I'm now going to read on behalf of the graduates in uh, uh, Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, as well as the degree in Nursing, the affirmation. So I'd like those graduates to please stand. I affirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way they can understand. Respect the right of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I, or a colleague, may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a doctor or as a nurse. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. And then if you can repeat after me, I so affirm. Today, we have celebrated the award of your degrees. Very, very many congratulations to you all. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I extend to each of you our very best wishes for the future. And I now declare this ceremony closed. Thank you very much to all of you for coming.